To create this design, shift A, mesh and add a rounded cube. And the operator preset should be capsule. Then decrease the subdivision to 4 and then rotate this into 90 degree. Select this bottom words and delete them. Select this edge loop and E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. And then press F to fill the gap. You can see we have got this kind of design. It is looking really well. Then shift A, mesh, add a cylinder. Add a 16 word cylinder and then rotate it into 90 degree. Then scale it along the X axis. Then scale it down and scale it along the X axis. Then go to the side view. Turn on the wireframe. And then rotate it into 45 degree angle. Change the transform orientation to the normal and move it along the normal X axis. Then scale it and just adjust the position by moving it along the X axis. Then select these two objects and then use the boolean operation difference. You can see. Then select this object and apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Now we need to create the right topology at here. Select these words and press J to connect them. Then select these words and press M and merge at last. Then remove this H. Select these words and press M merge at the center. And then remove this H. Then select these words and press M merge at the center. Now same thing at here also. Select these words and press M merge at last. Remove this H. Then select these words and press M merge at last. Select these words, press M merge at the center. Then Ctrl A, apply the rotation. Select everything, mesh, symmetrize, and delete this one half of the model. Then select this face and SZ0, scale it along the Z axis. Select this face and then SY0, scale it along the Y axis. Then select this edge and Ctrl X to dissolve it. Select this edge, Ctrl X to dissolve it. Add new edge loop at here. And then connect these words in this way. Same thing, add new edge loop at here. And select these words and press J to connect them. Select these words and double tap G for the edge slide. Same thing, select this word and double tap G for the edge slide. Then use the knife tool and create cut like this, C, Z. And add three loop cuts in this way. Then select everything, mesh, symmetrize, take the symmetry along the Y axis. So you can get same design to another side. And then hit the control tool to add the sub modifier and shear smooth it. Then add one loop cut here and one loop cut here. Select these words and snap your 3D cursor at it. Then shift A, mesh, add a cylinder. And I will go with the 8 word cylinder. Then rotate it into 90 degree. And scale it down. Scale it along the Y axis. And scale it down. Then select this edge loop. And control B, add bevel on it. Then E to extrude it. Then delete the sub modifier on the first object. Go to the edit mode. Select this H loop and press F to fill the gap. Now select these two objects and use the boolean operation difference. Apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Now we need to create a right topology here. Select these words and merge them. Select words and merge at last. Add new H loop at here. Select this H's and press J to connect them. Then add one loop cut at here. And select these words and press J to connect them. Then select this word and S, Z and give the value 0. Then select these edge loops and use the set flaw on them. Then use the knife tool and create cut in this way. Select this edge loop and dissolve it. Then turn on the extra mode and select these faces press P to make a separate object then select this H and snap 3D cursor to it set the origin to 3D cursor and then select everything mesh symmetrize take the symmetry 
then add array modifier on it generate array and give the factor 2 then select the first object delete this faces then apply the array modifier on the second object then select these two objects and then join them then select everything press m and merge by distance so double words will get merged then select this each loops and right click breach each loop I'm going to select this part and press P to make a separate object and we will complete the topology on it isolate it go to the top view use the knife tool and create straight cut along the x-axis in this way then select these edge loops with shift select and control B add bevel on them and add a two segment bevel shape factor should be one then select everything mesh symmetrize then select this words and double tap G for the edge slide then set the origin to 3D cursor and select everything mesh symmetrize take the symmetry along the x axis now select this part and delete it select this object and add array modifier one more time factor should be 2 and then apply this array modifier then select both the objects and join them then select everything and press M and merge by distance so double words will get merged then select everything mesh symmetrize take the symmetry along the y axis then add one loop cut at here one loop cut at here and one loop cut like this and then use the edge slide on it select this edges and use the edge slide on them and select this words and press J to connect them then select this edge loop and control X to dissolve them select this edge this select it and double tap G for the edge slide then select everything mesh symmetrize take the symmetry along the minus y axis select this edge loop and control X to dissolve them select this edge deselect this edge and double tap G for the edge slide deselect it SZ and give the value 0 and use the knife tool and create same cut along the x axis then select everything mesh symmetrize and hit the control 2 to add the something modifier then select this bottom faces and delete them select this each loop and press F to fill the gap then use the knife tool and create cuts like this then select this faces and press I for the insert operation and press B to avoid the border and use the insert operation like this give the proper thickness and then add one each loop like this then select everything mesh symmetrize take the symmetry and move it along the z axis and there you go in this way you can create this kind of design you can see the topology here you can see the design it is looking really well so that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to youtube channel bye bye to the next video take care